Hello everyone, this is Roidman, and welcome back to Neopets Puzzle Adventure. Last time, we did some side missions and helped Anshu tame his pet tiger. And now this time, we're going over to here for a lucky little tower. Let's speak to Lene. Hey, just who I was hoping to see. What's that? Is there something I can help you with? I thought you might be able to find me a dew corn horn before the gaze sets sail. They're supposed to be really good luck. You know where they might be? Hmm. Try the little tower. They seem like to like all the mystics and sages that hang around there. Shall do. Be back before you know it. Uh, unfortunately, there's no side missions. Oh, wait. The yes. Yeah. Oh, more bandits. A poster by the guardhouse mentions a reward for capturing bandits. Apparently, there have been some disturbance around the Shenny's house. Shenny's house? Again, bandits over that by that area? Let's go take care of that bandit before we go and do our main mission here. No bandits are here right now, but you might keep, make a note to keep an eye out for them. Um, okay. Are you telling me we get quests that practically means nothing? <laughs> Not to mention one, another one just popped up, so I feel like these should be a lot more... Bandit attack. You decide to visit Shenku Guard Station by the city gates to see if there's been any developments with the recent bandit attacks. A guardsman tells you that two bandits are attacking remarkable... Restorations, but they couldn't possibly leave their post as they uh need to protect the city gates or something. Sure. Well, technically, it a guardsman needs to do keep. Their, they're bothering Anshu, really. <laughs> Let's defeat the first bandit. You challenge the first bandit to a duel. So the first bandit is, if it loads, the first bandit is a monkey, or a mincy. feel like this battle is going to play out the same way as it did last, I feel like this is a lot larger than last time that we did this. Oh well, let's see how this plays out. I would like to have that please. Okay, so traditionally in Reversia or in the Othello, I like to stay within the box before going into the next lair. So, my next move would probably try to obtain a corner. And let's just keep... Oh, I forgot about the shockwaves! That might be bad. I need to get another shockwave. Oh, that was a horrible move. Okay. Um, I need to turn this game around in my favor now. Okay. for that, and that I can't go for. Uh, I might as well just capture the white gem. That's good. Uh, okay, removed a spot. Oh, okay, I do love it when they give me the corners when they do that. So, let's go for this and see where we go from there. That is a smart monkey for taking that, but you know what? We could get us a huge point by doing that move. Uh, okay, so let's go for this move. And you know what? Let's just go for a shockwave. Gotta be very cautious with those. Damn it. Uh, 
damage enemy. Oh, okay. I forgot there are pet pets that can do that. I'm gonna first get this. And then I'm gonna go for the shockwave. I'm hoping for this piece right here. Or the centerpiece. Uh, what do I want to go for now? The thing is, we need to get some more points here. So we need to go for a move that will give us a bigger multiplier. So how about I go for this move? That way, if you do decide to counter me on that... Uh, wait a minute. We need to fix something here. Okay, Juma, let's do this! And that does not take up my turn, thankfully. So let's just take over some gems. Uh, I said... Well, we can't take over that gem again. Unless I want to... Uh, let's go for that. If I have to, I will use the blue. Which, we don't have to. Let's take over our gem again. And we've taken the lead in score again. Uh, what do I want to do? What do you do again? You remove stuff. There we go. Try to be all serious with this game here. I go over this, this will at least give me a two-point bonus. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't go for that shockwave, unfortunately, but I can go for 25 points. Not to mention, I can do this now and just get a bunch of points by doing this. What I'm going to do is that, which will allow me to just rank up points. Let's go for that. That'll give us more points there. Would really love for the shockwave to move somewhere else, unless we move this here, and then on my next turn... We go for the shockwave, which will activate. Giving us more of a multiplier po of points. Of course, that doesn't ignore the fact that they can also go for a shockwave. I'm gonna go for that. One of these would be very ideal for me. That is not ideal for me. Um... Wait. I know. I'll take my little bunny. And I'm just gonna just say that was actually mine. A lot more useful than the sword I have. Not to mention, I can do this move now. Get five more points there. Oh, there's another shockwave. Which did really nothing for you. I'll just take this white gem. And I'll take a shockwave. There we go! I think we've got this game in the bag. Let's go ahead and capture that. This will be my next move. Oh, I shouldn't have done that move. Oh well. Okay, so I'm... I'm going to go for this, because it's going to be the safest move for me. And you're on lockdown. Oh, wait, what? 
I don't think that's enough, not enough points for you to win, though. Which it isn't. Okay, taking down that Mincy was a little long, but we took it down. The first man drops to the ground with a yelp, but the second jumps forward to take his place. It looks like you'll have to fight him too. If you want to save, save remarkable re restoratives. Uh, we gotta go and defeat the second bandit. So, save like the first. Beating another monkey to death. And just because I don't like capturing that gem, I'm gonna start down there this time. And let's just basically see if we can just beat this monkey again. Uh, go for the corner. I can go for this corner now. Okay, they're not giving me moves that I really want to make. We go for that. And I need a shockwave, so give me a shockwave. As long as it's not will do. What in the world do you have there? Okay, select the token to remove it. There's a 50% chance your enemy misses their next turn. Okay, that's a little bit broken, but okay. Uh, let's go up there. We do have Juma in case we need to capture something, and what gem are you replacing? It doesn't matter. Let's go for that. And let's just go for another shockwave. If I know there's like any clear way for me to take them out, I will try to do that. But at the moment, I don't have equipment to go for quick KOs. All I can really do is just hope that, well, one, the shockwaves work in my favor because that's RNG. RNG, that actually works out in my favor. We got our shockwave. Of course, it doesn't really help it when the shockwave's under one of my chips, so it could easily play into their favor. Okay, so the next move I probably want to make is probably more in the center. Actually, no, I want to capture this white gem. Nope, that's not the move I want to make. Motion controls, you have failed me. Okay, so let's go for... Now let's just capture that other gem. Luckily, we can easily just get our gem back. give them something to work with, so how about we just do that? And you're just gonna do that, and... Ooh, wait. Did we win? Uh, not yet. Ah, uh, there's a shockwave for them. Which... I might as well just go for a shot with myself. Okay, so shockwave. Counter shockwaves. I'll just take that 25 bonus. Can't go for that. And I thought I almost had it where I could probably win the game. Oh, wait. I see an area where I could probably just get a big multiplier, so we're going to use Juma. And go for that. Okay. We have an arc corner. And. Oh, 
there's a shockwave right there, and I want it. So we want to go for this move right here. Okay. Now, stuck there, but I want that 25% bonus. Which, again, does not help my case when you have something like that there. Let's just go for the other 25%. Which, by score multiplier, we're winning. And that takes care of that. I've won this game. We're going to use our little bunny, because it does not skip our turn. We're going to get rid of that. And because of that, we take this, we win the game. Hopefully we do get equipment that will allow us to end these matches faster. You have defeated both of the bandits. The town guards gracefully take them into custody and gives you a reward for saving remarkable restoratives. 500 Neo points. And let's just go and get to our main story objective here. Which is at the little tower. Search for the duocorn horn. Um, are we illegally approaching a horn from a duocorn? Because that's what I feel like we're doing right now. Otherwise, if you do poach, please don't poach. Uh, you give us the first turn where... Here's what I don't like. We have constantly the first turn. On any kind of move, our opponent already gets 25 more points. Watch. Or our opponent's an idiot. So I'll just... No, bad. I'll go for that. I'll go for this. And right now, I want to go for those gems because we do get more of a bonus with them. Can't capture that, but I do not want to lose this side. So how about we go for this? And Duocorn just added gem to the map. Okay, we're not going for that now. So what I want to go for now is probably a move that will be helpful in my case. Which is the only move I see possibly doing it would be this move. I gotta look for a good killing move. That's the thing. And, uh, that's a jerkish move from yet, too. Okay, as long as we stay away from that shockwave, we should be good, but it will move eventually. Like that, for example. We do have Juma in case you do go for the corner, so let's just go for the shockwave. And hope that it does some damage. A lot of times, you can actually shockwave into a shockwave, so it probably would be more beneficial to you just to go for it. For example, you could probably just prepare yourself for, for going towards it. Because I just realized there's only 125. Oh, thank goodness. Speaking of which, I'm taking this corner now. And let's go for that shockwave and see what we get. Come on, big money, big money! And that gets us something. And we can't go for that shockwave. So how about we just go for the white gem for right now? And as long as I have these blue gems over here, I don't have to worry about him, about the dual corn just going flipping one of my coins over just for, to make a move. So how about we just get a red gem? Blue gem's in the center. There's no way for that dual corn to get it, so we're good there. So I'll just do that. And we practically won this game already. 
Because the moment you get at least one corner piece in reverse, you already have the game. Your opponent just has to make a lot of smart moves just to reverse the game into their favor. Which, unfortunately, they are not doing, so... I will just take that shockwave! And take the extra points. Um, okay, so we're gonna go for that. You're gonna go for this. Or maybe not. Uh, what do I want to go for? If I go for this, it will capture a lot. Right now, I'm gonna go for an R white jab. Okay, there's a shockwave there. But there's no possible way for me to KO. Shockwave, so what's our RNG thing? To be honest, I'm actually very cool with that. I'm not cool with this, basically. Okay, we'll, we'll make that move just to get some more points. Grab the white gems. Of course, we're getting another shockwave, which any of these pieces over here is kind of bad for us. No way for us to get a shockwave. Let's just capture that. Oh! That is not even funny. Not even one bit. And Juba can't even do anything about that. Uh, do we only have one move? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use blue. And just place a token here. And by the way, that thing where I said where they could capture one corner piece and they could easily reverse it, this is one of those situations, which I'm glad I now have cheats to work with. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my little bunny. I'm gonna get rid of this. And just say that's mine. Now it's just a matter of just getting everything else back. Okay, you, the shockwave moves, so that's kind of unfortunate for me. But right now we could just probably finish this game in a few turns now. Okay, there's a shockwave. I don't want anything bad to happen, so let's just turn that back to our favor. And just grab that. You have no more moves to make. Except for that move. And we win! Now surrender your horn! You know, something I just realized about this dual corn. I could have probably have captured it. Probably not. After scaring the duocorn, you managed to find a horn one of them have shed. You re should return it to Lene. And returning it to Lene, we shall. <laughs> Lots of pet pets around. Back already? Sure am. One of those duocorn things went a bit wild and attacked me. Mind you? Yeah, well, those little guys can be vicious when they're angry. This one sure was, but I managed to obtain a horn, so it all worked out. Well, I have a few Neo points for you for helping me out, so thanks again. No problem, Lene. And hey, if you're after any more work, I think Orin at the exotic food shop might be looking for a little extra help. 
And... Oh, what do I want? You know, we'll upgrade strength and the next time we'll upgrade defense. We get 500 any points! Lost and found. Orange can be found outside the exotic food shop. So, next time on Neopets Pet Puzzle Adventure, we'll be going to the food shop and helping out Orange. 